this right here is my most recent addition to the vintage power tool collection and it's probably one of my favorites so far this is a vintage 1969 black and decker super saw cat model 997 type 8a uh, this saw I paid $150 for which is pretty much a steal compared to what they usually go for normally in the three to four hundred dollar range so pretty happy about that uh, they don't make these anymore they haven't made them for quite some time but they have gone through a few reiterations such as the model 3027 which I believe came out in 1970 which is directly after this one it is the exact same saw they essentially just changed the, the uh, model number for it but other than that they are identical as far as I can tell and then shortly after that in 1971 they came out with the model 3047-09 which once again was nearly identical at first but the later models they did change quite a few things and towards the very end of its life, the 3047-09 essentially looked like a completely different saw in some ways. So they really did change them towards the end. But after that, this saw essentially vanished. Uh, it was replaced by uh, the 2694 and 3064 Super Saw Cats which are the same as the DeWalt DW364 but the break on this saw and the equivalent 3027 and 3047-09 is one of the fastest if not the fastest electric break on a circular saw that you'll ever see uh, one drawback with that though is that it essentially eats up the brushes and so it does reduce the lifespan of the brushes a little bit because it does create quite a flash when you release the trigger which creates a lot of heat and wears the brushes away so that's one reason why they replaced these saws with the uh, 3064 and the 2694 because one of the things they did with those saws is they they slowed the breakdown a little bit so it somewhat uh, expanded the life of the brushes a little bit but not by a lot but personally I, th I favor this model over uh, the uh, newer super saw cats the 3064 and the uh, DW364 which I have I might actually compare that in a second here but uh, one unique feature about this saw that I haven't seen on any other one really other than maybe their builder saw cats is it has a detachable uh, right shoe so the shoe on this saw is actually two pieces and uh, this piece right here on the the right edge of the shoe actually can be detached from the entire saw which in essence allows you to flush cut up against a wall say if you're gonna you know cut some flooring out or you know whatever you want to do it allows you to get flush up against a wall essentially and make flush cuts which I think is pretty neat and I've really never seen anything like that before um, now when I did buy this it did not come with this it was missing this base attachment so I did end up buying that but I was able to get a new old stock one so it's a brand new attachment and uh, you can take it off just by unscrewing a little knob here and then there's one on the front and they actually did come with the base as well which I actually thought was pretty neat I wasn't expecting it another neat feature that I quite like is this big handle right here or rather lever I'm sorry most saws today 
have really short, in my opinion, really short uh, guard levers that are somewhat cumbersome when you're trying to, uh, say, lift the guard up to make a plunge cut or if it just won't engage on its own. But this one has a super long and it, it sticks somewhat vertically from the saw which makes it really easy to uh, to uh, access because it's it's right here and it's super long so you can use your thumb or whatever to, to pull it forward as far as you need to and I quite like that compared to a lot of the saws that I own and that I've used um, another thing that I like is that you know aside from the electric brake this actually has a, a rear pivoting system on it and most circular saws have a front pivot which means that the uh, depth control would usually be on the back somewhere usually behind the handle and that means that this whole front would pivot forward usually however on this saw this is a rear pivot saw so the pivot is actually right back here let me get a better shot right there is the pivot it's actually a a, a ball pivot so it can uh, pivot in all directions so instead of pivoting forward it it pivots backwards which I kinda like because it's similar to uh, the drop foot mechanism like on the uh, the builder saw cats some of the builder saw cats and uh, some of the skill saws which have a, a drop shoe which basically just adjust vertically up and down now this isn't quite the same because it does have you know a pivot so it does pivot back and forth but it is a similar mechanism to the uh, to uh, drop foot saws because you can see this rail and that's basically what the saw pivots or not pivots but slides on and it's nice that the the depth adjustment is on the front as well as the angle adjustment which is actually really handy because they're both right there where you need them instead of most saws where it's usually on the back the uh, depth and sometimes that kind of gets annoying and the uh, the two six nine four three zero six four and DW three six four are pretty much all the same. They also have the angle adjustment on the front, and they also have the uh, rear pivot. So essentially, the same design as this. But instead of this knob, it has a larger, uh, almost like an auxiliary handle, which also doubles as the knob. Personally, I quite like this grip better than the uh, one on my DW364. That's just my preference, but I think it's a lot easier to just be able to grab on this end when you need to steady it. But I must say that this saw is balanced really well. So basically, it allows you to keep the saw relatively straight when making freehand cuts. And I literally just got this saw today, but from the cuts that I've made with it in that amount of time I must say that every cut I've made freehand is almost entirely square which is pretty incredible because I'm not, usually not very good at cutting square by hand so this is really well balanced it is a little on the heavy side but it's not as he actually not as heavy as my uh, DW364 so it's not too bad. I'll give you an idea of some of the specifications here. And that's the uh, classic B&D logo for Black & Decker. I quite like that design. You can see Black & Decker 7 and a quarter inch Super Saw Cat 115 volts AC 12.5 amps 5500 RPMs Type 8A and uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a uh, for lack of a better term, it's a beast of a saw. It really has enough power to uh, push through anything that I've put it through so far. And uh, I'll have to uh, attach a video of me making some cuts. 
the electric brake on this thing is crazy. It is the fastest thing that I've ever seen. The fastest brake on a saw that I've ever seen. Any saw I've ever used is not near as fast. Oh, and here's one thing that I also quite like. This is a shoe width indicator, which is actually really handy. Because if you're using like a homemade rip fence or a straight edge guide that you're running the saw across, you basically have to know what the uh, measurements from the edge of the shoe to the blade are so that you can account for that when you're setting your measurements. But this is a nice handy reference because it basically in black and white tells you what the measurement is from right here to the edge of the blade which is super handy. Another thing that I like quite a bit is that the notch for the 45 degree bevel also doubles as the zero degree notch. So right here at the top of that bevel, that beveled edge, the, the top right here is the 45 degree uh, line of sight which is pretty nice but the edge right here at the bottom is the zero degree which I also quite like because it also lines up right at the edge of this shoe attachment so you always know where your zero and 45 is so I think that's pretty cool so uh, all in all this is a great saw super happy with it I didn't pay you know too much for it but it's usually more than I would normally pay but this saw is really special this what used to be my dad's favorite saw and uh, he uh, unfortunately he passed away a few weeks ago so this saw does mean a lot more to me than it probably does to most people but anyhow I, I do like it I'm really pleased with it I cleaned it I polished it and it turned out really well so I'm really happy with it well I guess I'll go ahead and attach a video of me